We bought the property in 2009 and above and beyond all the normal criteria one applies when one's looking uh, to buy a property, we were looking for a property that we could retrofit and that lent itself in other respects. It's a conventional 1970s built uh, block house, had exterior insulation added to it. Um, we wanted to get the walls up to the correct U values for passive house but without making them too thick which precluded us using natural insulation materials. But in the new build, we were able to use uh, timber framing, sheep's wool, make it completely natural, which the team actually enjoyed far more. The project's special partly because it's a, a retrofit um, to the full passive house standard, um, which is probably pushing retrofit as far as you can get. And it's special in that it's been done within a setting that had quite a few design constraints and had a very strong aesthetic. The B&B guests, there's a real demand out there for people to experience a passive house and they have come away inspired. A lot of the comments in our guest book are you know, testimony to the inspiration of the project. And so I think that's really important. It focused our attention, I think, on the need for education. Not only was it educating and training ourselves, but from that, we realised the need for a book that would be able to communicate to people who wanted to try and do the same. It's an attainable goal for everyone to change over to, to passive house standards. It just takes a, a slightly different viewpoint as to how you approach it.